Hey, hey everybody. First of all, I just want to thank everybody. Uh, people who uh, my niece put a post up uh, several, maybe two months back, talking about my situation. But this is my first day of chemo within six months. I'm at the Texas on call. Sorry, we can, we can pause. White. Yeah. Sorry. And guess what? When they stuck the Huber needle in, and I call it Poo Huber, H U B E R, into my port, I was good. <laughs> I did not cringe. I'm not scared of needles, but I didn't cringe. I turned my head because I had a negative thought. So, anyway, we're going to ride this out. And today, I'm praying that the chemo goes into that pancreas and it gets that tumor it shrinks that tumor off of that artery you know when you hear about pancreatic cancer there's a big response of oh you have pancreatic oh it's just how it's such an aggressive demon it is it's an, but i'm the one percent see people say 99.9 and you know i read the story about patrick swayze steve jobs and when people when you say that you have this it's like saying you have no hope, but that's not true. Uh, if we say that, because three weeks ago, I told God, so I want y'all to know this. I asked God, God, do I need to quit praying to you about this pancreatic cancer? Just so y'all know this, I did. He's big enough to handle that. He's heard it all. But I said, God, what is the 99% that you can't heal pancreatic cancer? So the Lord dealt with me and treated me really like, uh, what's his name, Ezekiel, uh, about the Valley of Dry Bones, you know, when Israel was going through all this suffering years and years and years of death and hopelessness, and he asked a rhetorical question, can these bones live? So basically, he was asking me, okay, can you live? No, I know I can, heal it. It's a different if he won't, but I know he can, and his will is for us to be healthy on this side. So, it's the fight. I'm a survivor. Once I found out I was sick, MD Anderson has a slogan. The day you find out you're sick, you become a survivor. So I am a survivor. And thank you once again for getting in the fight. Blessings. Okay. And guess what? When they stuck the Huber needle in, and I call it Poo Huber, H-U-B-E-R, into my port, I was good. <laughs> I did not cringe. I'm not scared of needles, but... I didn't cringe. I turned my head because I had a negative thought. So anyway, we're going to ride this out. And today, I'm praying that the chemo goes into that pancreas and it gets that tumor. It shrinks that tumor off of that artery. You know, when you hear about pancreatic cancer, there's a big response of, oh, you have pancreatic, oh. It's just how it's such an aggressive demon. It is. It's an, but I'm the 1%. See, people say 99.9. .9. You know, I read the story about Patrick Swayze, Steve Jobs. And when people, when you say that you have this, it's like saying you have no hope. But that's not true. Uh, and we say that, because three weeks ago, I told God, so I want y'all to know this. I asked God, God, do I need to quit praying to you about this pancreatic cancer? Just so y'all know this, I did. He's big enough to handle that. He's heard it all. But I said, God, what is the 99% that you can't heal pancreatic cancer? So the Lord dealt with me and treated me really like, uh, what's his name, Ezekiel, uh, about the Valley of Dry Bones, you know, when Israel was going through all this suffering years and years and years of death and hopelessness. And he asked a rhetorical question, can these bones live? So basically, he was asking me, okay, can you live? No, I know I can heal it. It's a different if he won't, but I know he can, and his will is for us to be healthy on this side. So it's the fight. I'm a survivor. Once I found out I was sick, MD Anderson has a slogan. The day you find out you're sick, you become a survivor. So I am a survivor, and thank you once again for getting in the fight. Blessings. Guys, I want you to know that my daughter is a super girl. Her and my niece, thank you to well, you like both from today. A woman. Yes. Yeah. She helped me put on my pants, take off my dress, 
God, she has helped me do everything. Walked me to the bathroom 40 times after these three big infusion of drugs. Mm -hmm. Now I got the ball on me. It's a Christmas ball. It's a big one, y'all. But guess what? I was a soldier. Thank you, God. I'm home after taking the big five FU. That's what it's called for Furanol. This whole regimen. So for all of you who don't know, I have a Christmas ball right here in this bag. It's a big Christmas ball. It's a Christmas ball. And what it is, after the it's still working, it's still a medicine that's getting down between that stomach, getting to the pancreas and breaking that cancer up. So the met, that ball is still it's a medicine. medicine. I'm still going oh. home with four. That's why I was shot, guys. Look, I did three medicines. And they ran two for an hour and a half, and then the first one for two hours. So they thought, you know, that the first one was going to trip me up. They were seeing how I was doing. I pressed through it like a soldier, me and God. But the second one no, is when I had stomach cramps. That is called, I ran a tea can. I ran a tea can. And no wonder, because it kept taking me to the can. I kept going to the bathroom. <laughs> That's why it's called, I, I'm running to the can. Okay, but it made the bottom of my stomach cramp already with diarrhea. So they gave me the atropine, atropine or atropine medicine to slow up uh, the process of the stomach and the cramping. Thank you, Dr. McCullen, uh, for doing what you did, uh, being a great uh, doctor. Thank you to the nurses uh, in the key, on the chemo team, Darlene. Uh, and te, uh, I Tori, think, uh, Tori mm -hmm. I'll call you T. Thank you so much. And look, I did a post earlier, my niece did, but I just want to send a shout out. It was a bunch of people. I didn't get Bethlehem Baptist, Rem Diggs, and your team. Thank you for praying for me. Uh, for the people at the water department. <laughs> I have the people at the water department in Hillsborough praying for me, Donna Miller. Uh, thank you, Michelle Sides. Thank you, but Reverend Diggs. Thank you guys for y'all support. Deborah uh, Demerson, you don't know I got a testimony to call you and Pastor Rich this week because Pastor Rich said at church Sunday that somebody was going to get a great blessing. I'm going to tell y'all about that one later, but uh, Pastor Rich, you hit it. The Holy Ghost told you the truth. Uh, you were on it because something happened to me yesterday. Hey, that's to be continued. For Tanya, everybody that's praying. This morning, Granny, baby sister, Rem Bates. Rem Bates, thank you for all that you are doing. And Tanya right Tanya now. Tanya, dig Yeah, Tanya, Tanya is putting my socks on. <laughs> Don't want to talk, uh, baby. You ain't shot for the camera. <laughs> and she's, look, this is what I have to use utterly. Candy down in Hillsboro, Texas at the daycare. Candy, don't you know we know you right? We know you like you took care hey, of Porsche's kids. I gotta tell you that. You took care of Porsche's kids, now you're taking care of Eli. But thank you for all your nutritional tips. Shout out to the pharmacist who gave me the list uh, of things and herbs that fight cancer. Shout okay, out to you. Okay, this getting cold, so you okay. need to just Okay, guess what I'm gonna... fixing to do? Finna gargle. Okay, I ain't gonna show this. Okay. That baking soda and a sea salt. This is what Candy ordered me off of Amazon. I mean, excuse me, what Tanya ordered me off of Amazon. Everybody's ordering me stuff. Thank you for all my supporters. But Latanya ordered me this, and they said, "Am I right, Portia? This was better than uh, that Miracle Wash that uh -huh, they were talking wash. about." Yeah, she told me that her partner, her husband, is seven year cancer free, and she still has him to gargle every day with this. Yeah. Check y'all.